of your frown is so alive Makes me feel so dead Just wanna make you smile Just believe that I'm gonna Take you where you want I'm gonna show you paradise We're gonna live there forever What's good, my family? Welcome back to the channel. You know what, y'all? So listen, I know y'all probably saw me at the park like right before this. That was like a few hours ago, y'all. So I went to the park with the intention of flying my drone, right? And then I get there, I get all set up. I actually see a friend from high school from there. I'm all like, hey, I got this drone, bro. I'm about to fly. He's like, all right, bro, let's see what it can do. I went out there, I tried to start it, right? I wish I recorded some of this for y'all. And it cut on, but it said, unauthorized zone it restrictions and I couldn't fly the drone over there and I was like okay maybe I gotta go online and do something I went online found out what I had to do right and come to find out it only you can only access this part of the drone or whatever you need to do from a desktop computer so I had to go all the way home register my drone or do whatever I had to do to kind of find out that I didn't have to do that it was just another way I had to work it but long story short y'all Technology is fucking crazy, y'all. But on the bright side, at least I got the drone, like I keep on saying. But I'm about to go ahead and um, go out here, do some Uber, get some money. Feeling pretty good. I actually, after I got done with the park and I got sorry about my drone, I honestly went home and took a nap. I was so pissed off. And then when I try to go back outside to fly the drone, tell me why it started raining, you dig? But you know what? It's all part of the journey. Anyway, go, we're probably gonna fly tomorrow or sometime this weekend. I'm just happy that I got it. That's all I keep on thinking, you dig? But let's get to the bread. Your brother got to go in here and get him a monster, man. Although I don't plan on drinking one of these, I ain't glad y'all. When I'm doing these long ass hours of Uber, I need, damn. I guess niggas be stealing monsters. They got to protect that shit. But do I recommend y'all drink these? Absolutely not, but man. When you rolling for eight, nine hours, you need something to keep you energized. I don't like drinking coffee at night because that shit make your brother tired. Uber Eats Chronicles, number one. This guy's in the car sleepy. I'm gonna zoom in. Look, my guy's in the car slump. The line was super long. He didn't even pull up, y'all. I guess my brother had a long day. Oh yeah, one second. Oh yeah. Before I chop it up with y'all for a few seconds, I had to show y'all the results of the black light so y'all can finally see how it's gonna be. It's gonna look super duper dope. Um, of course it has more LEDs going across up top. We're gonna do podcasts right here on the couch. It's gonna be super dope, y'all. I'm really looking forward to y'all seeing the end results. So I'm debating should I put the other posters, like one over, you can't see my hand, like one next to the alien and one next to one over here. Not sure I'm gonna do that or not, but I probably will test it out tonight. But let's change up the scenic view. Alrighty, y'all, welcome back to the investment table. Y'all know we haven't been in a while. Well, y'all know your brother's still been making investments, just haven't really, you know, been at the investment table in a while. So I have two new investments here. They're actually pretty good investments, y'all. So I'm gonna start with, let's see, the small box first. This pack is actually very beneficial. And no, my address is not on here, so ha ha ha. But um, I actually need these, you know what I mean? I, I just dropped a hint to y'all a minute ago talking about these. So we're gonna see what these is. Uh, just got back home from Uber, by the way. Uber was super dope, had a great time as always. You know, my energy was like super hot today during Uber. I was like, woo, I was excited to do Uber. I think because earlier I took a nap. And when I take a nap before I do Uber, I can do Uber all night. That's the key to doing Uber. Take a nap before and you're gonna be set. But let's get straight to it. Here we go. You all ready? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. So what these are, oh, okay, they rolled up. 
These are the LEDs, y'all. I might hook them up tonight. I might wait tomorrow. But long story short, I'm gonna pull out a little strip for y'all so y'all can see them at least. And hold on. Yep, strips of LEDs. And I plan on putting these like up, not up here on this side, but like up against the wall over there next to those trippy photos I just showed y'all. And they're gonna go around and probably like around half of the room and boom. And they can change colors as well. I think um, this is Bluetooth. So it hooks up to this, it's plugs into the wall. And then it's like an app I download on my phone. I can change the color of these lights and the temperature and everything. So yeah, investment number one, LED strips. I'm gonna show you how they look probably tomorrow. Probably not gonna put them up tonight because I'm lazy. But they're definitely gonna be up. So um, yeah, like I said though, these are gonna go on the other side of the room behind the camera. Um, right here, we're gonna put some lights over here as well, but a little more elegant looking lights and eventually some LEDs. But for now, my main goal is to get that side done so I can get that corner or that side of the room done at least first because this side is already done. We don't want to make we want to make it uh, look too messy. So we're doing the best we can, you dig? Now this box, this is actually a very interesting investment. Um, I need this for the new thing we're about to start doing with the podcast and I don't have anything to open it up and I don't feel like editing this part. So we're just gonna use this to open up this box, y'all. Hey, use what you can. So this is actually a really, really good investment, y'all. I'm not sure if y'all be able to see this fully. I may have to put a picture inside the vlog for y'all to see all the way. But um, yeah, I may. Yeah, I got probably put a picture in here for y'all to see it. But long story short, this investment is a really good one. These are mic stands. So what I'm trying to do, y'all, I'm really trying to start doing podcasts over there on the couch next to those trippy photos. And in order to do that, instead of hold on to the mic the whole time. I decided to you know get some good mic stands these mic stands are actually really good and they're also going to intertwine with the new series i'm trying to do such as you know the comedy shit i'm trying to do y'all so yeah i'm gonna show y'all how they look but most likely I'll probably have like a picture somewhere in the corner for y'all so y'all can see these and hold on let me get them out the box let me get them out the box for y'all and well well yeah it's gonna mic stand i gotta unfold it uh let's see i'm gonna open it up a little bit for y'all so y'all can get an idea yep so this goes up and we put the mic on top of this and yeah it obviously goes longer than this i think it goes like up to six feet and yeah this should be really good for the couch put these on the side of the couch y'all gonna see all this stuff of course form they throughout the journey but y'all know your brother always got to get investments because in order for the shit to grow i have to get investments like i get discouraged a lot of course when it comes to building a brand from the ground up and everything but at the end of the day, I think I'm more so just doing stuff for the happiness of it, you know? I used to get so caught up in views and everything. I still do. But you guys can see I still invest and I still keep growing because this is what makes me happy. It'd be great if I can make money from it. But hey, if I can keep being happy from it and keep growing, why not keep going, you dig? But y'all know I got to drop y'all the fun facts of the day really quick. I don't want to, you know, keep on missing out on the fun facts of the day. All right, thought of the day. Happiness doesn't depend on any external conditions. It is governed by our mental attitudes. Dale Carnegie. I was just kind of talking about the happiness aspect. Yeah, um, of course we do want things on the outside. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit y'all and lie. Act like, I don't care about things on the outside because at the end of the day, that's what we see. That's our reality. But deep down, happiness is within. You know what I mean? Um, I know a lot of people always think money is happiness. You know what? I take that back. Money is happiness to an extent. Money is happiness till you get so much money. You don't, you just like, what now? You know what I mean? But I do believe happiness is within, man. I know it's really hard to um, understand that sometimes because some days me, as a prime example, I catch myself getting lost in the sauce. Like, oh no, my brand isn't where it needs to be or my vlogs isn't booming. And like I just said a minute ago, then it hits me like Justin. This is what makes you happy. So money shouldn't really be involved in the situation. If you believe that happiness is the key to life, money will follow happiness. Happiness will lead and the money will follow. You know what I mean? I firmly believe that. I know at times it's hard for myself to believe that because and, and I'm not rich, but y'all can see I'm getting enough money to build shit, to buy shit, to build my brand, to travel out the country, to do everything. You know what I mean? So it's all about what you can do with the resources that you have you know what i mean at the end of the day be happy though with a lot of money a little money with the big brand with the small brand with a small business with a big business whatever you want to do y'all you got to be happy throughout that journey so when you reach that destination you're already fulfilled you know what i mean and i'm still learning through this every single day so you know i'm not a perfect guy either you dig joke of the day what has ears but cannot hear 
guess what guys a cornfield oh, oh, oh you get it what has ears but cannot hear okay a cornfield random fact of the day pineapples take about three years to grow into a mature fruit that's why pineapple is so fucking good a like quality quality over quantity all right fun i fun fact of the day i think pineapples are my favorite fruit but pineapples are definitely my top three i like strawberries strawberries be number one i think but pineapples is so fucking good y'all a lot of people don't like pineapples and me oh i whew, pineapples is good definitely when it's like it's not too warm or it's not too cold and it's fresh and juicy and you get one of those soft pieces Ooh wee because sometimes we go to the store buy pineapples you notice that they be good but then some of them don't be as juicy and some of them be just hard and you bite into it, it's like ooh, you know what i mean I like those nice soft pineapples and it's like perfect you know room temperature you dig pineapples is great that way general entry idea what is the unexpected silver lining of social distancing whoa uh, they kind of they made me question my intelligence what does the you know, what is an unexpected silver lining i don't know what that means y'all hold on look up what does silver lining mean you know i have slow moments like this i'm not about to edit this out either so just rock out with me y'all what does silver lining mean let's see Use the term silver lining when you want to emphasize the hopeful side of a situation that may seem gloomy on the surface. Okay, so it's like, why am I hope? Okay, let me go back to the question now. What is the unexpected silver lining of social distancing? Um, so I guess it's trying to say what's something where you want to emphasize the hopeful side of, so the hopeful side of social distancing um it's forcing us to be by ourselves a lot more you know what i mean a lot of people in this world do not like being by themselves a lot as y'all can see i do i'm a sutra i'm a super introvert but i feel like a lot of people don't like being by themselves and um i feel like that's terrible not in a bad way no negative shade i just feel like that's terrible and i'm actually glad that people probably are at home by themselves you know what i mean it actually helps them to get to know their self a little better i'm not trying to say be in solitude and not talk to anybody but I honestly feel that, um, you know, it's helping people probably grow more, get more creative, um, get to learn who they are deep within, get to know their emotions, learn a lot of things about themselves. I feel like when you spend a lot of times with yourself, you learn many things that you need to know about yourself. Me personally, y'all know I spend a lot of time by myself. I do a lot of self-reflection. Last year, I did so much self-reflection. I barely do any now. My self-reflection is probably through these vlogs. This is my best way I self-reflect, you know what I mean? But I feel like the best thing about social distancing is People are by themselves, meaning that they're getting more creative, they're learning themselves more, they'll probably find new hobbies, or if it's doing different shit. And that's what I hope, you know what I mean? And some people may not be, may not like social distancing, but I'm speaking for the people that are, you know, probably social distancing by themselves and being creative and just doing different things, you know what I mean? I think that's the positive thing of all this is that all the creatives I've been talking to, they've been saying one thing. Yeah, this sucks because I'm not able to, you know, go out and do it, go to events and shit. But it's also great because it forces them to sit at home and be creative and make investments and just grow whatever they're doing, such as their brand or their art or whatever it is. You know what I mean? I always like to look at the positive aspect of everything. Like, obviously, you know, it kind of threw off my plans. But as y'all can see, I'll keep on investing. I keep growing. I'm finding like different things to make me, you know, keep going to help me grow as a person. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, that's all I can really think about social distancing, like the um, positives of it, you know, besides not spreading the um, virus that much. Um, and for me, social distancing, y'all, um, obviously, obviously I haven't really been doing a lot of social distancing, but I can say it, it's just pushing me, you know, I, I'm by myself all the time anyway. Anywhere it goes, me being an introvert makes me just ground harder, makes me be more creative, makes me just see how I can perfect things and make things better you know what i mean and i'm gonna keep on doing that yeah dig but what has been saying my family i'm about to go ahead and probably set up this microphone saying probably mess with these leds a little bit we'll see i don't know y'all but what has been saying my family i'll see y'all tomorrow peace and love